All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So this is going to be the final video that I make about Bradley Castleberry and the fake plates fiasco. So in my last video, a lot of people still seem to believe that the plates were real. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys Bradley benching 675 for a total of three reps, squatting 855, and he also claims to deadlift 800 pounds, which is a gym total of 2,330 pounds for a powerlifting total which is beyond a world record for his weight class. So keep in mind, he claims to weigh 250 pounds. A lot of people say he really only weighs 220. People close to him say they've seen him weigh in at 220. So he weighs nowhere near 250 pounds is what a lot of people are claiming. So here he's going to hit 275 for a double. Now keep an eye on the spotter, man. It doesn't look like the spotter's really struggling a whole lot to help him. And it doesn't look like Bradley's really struggling a whole lot to lift the weight. His ass doesn't even come off the bench. This is a 700-pound bench press. So here's the squat. That's nine plates on each side of the bar. You can count the plates, which is 855 pounds. Um, so not only does he have a world record you know, in the bench press, but he's also a world-class squatter. So here he is going to depth with the uh, nine plates on each side. That actually looks like more than nine plates. It might be 10, because I, th I, th I think he's done some videos with the 10 plates on each side as well. Um, so this next photo that you're gonna see, this is him curling about 375 pounds, four plates on each side. This next photo is him incline benching six plates on each side, which is almost 600 pounds. Now keep in mind, it's very hard to spot the incline bench. So even with a spotter, this is still a pretty impressive feat of strength. So let's look at the world record here. Assuming he weighs 250 pounds, he would be in the 265 pound weight class for powerlifting. The world record in the 265 pound class is 661 pounds. So you're telling me that he can bench 15 pounds more than the world record for two reps and he weighs 15 pounds less than the weight class cap and the, and the weight class guy that set that record, um, he was a bench press specialist. He didn't even squat or deadlift in the meet. And you're telling me Bradley can have these crazy squats and crazy deadlifts and um, outshine the world record and do it for two reps. So let's say Bradley only weighs 220 pounds, which is what a lot of people say. So he would be in the 231 pound weight class. So in that weight class, the world record is only 640 pounds. So Bradley is lifting 35 more pounds than the world record in that weight class, and he's benching it for two, even with a spotter. I mean, it's just crazy to me that people believe that these plates are real. 700 pounds on the bench press is just an insane number. Even with a spotter, it would be almost impossible to fucking do that for two reps at 220 pounds weight, body weight. Um, so my point is, if the plates are real and these lifts are even semi-real, why would Bradley not do a powerlifting meet to prove that these numbers are real or even prove that he has numbers close to these numbers? Because if he can bench anything close to 675 at his body weight, he would be a world-class powerlifter. But the reason that he doesn't is because the plates are fake. If you look at the plates in all the videos, they're the same hexagon-shaped plates, even though that he lifts, he lifts in three different gyms in these videos. But all the plates always look the same. They're the same hexagon plates. Um, and a lot of people will say, well, how does he get the plates into the gym? How does no one see him? Um, I mean, this guy makes all his money from these videos. If you don't think he's willing to do whatever it takes to get more views than everybody else, um, then you're crazy. This guy would find a way to get the plates in the gym. He could go in there at night. He could know the manager. He could know the owner. He could keep the plates in a back closet somewhere. He could keep the plates on a certain machine where only he knows where they're at. Um, people will say, well, where do you get fake plates? You can get fake plates online anywhere. There's like a thousand websites that sell fake plates. If you have the money, you can buy an endless amount of them. Um, so I think the plates are fake. I think he probably knows the manager or the owner of the gym or something. He brings out the plates when he needs them, films his videos, um, because there's no fucking way that he can bench 675 pounds. And that's not me being jealous. That's me stating a fact. I'm not jealous that he can bench 675 because he can't bench 675. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think he's legit? Do you think the plates are real? And specifically, if you think the plates are real, then you have to give me your argument for why you think he can bench 675 for two reps. You get Because if you think the plates are real, you think that that lift was real. So he benched pretty much 700 pounds for two reps. So 
you guys that believe the plates are real also believe that he bent 700 for two. So let me know in the comment section what you think. Give the video a thumbs up if you agree with me that the plates are fake. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.